Hello and welcome to the Cold Coffee Club, a podcast brought to you by Houston Moms. We're here to give you a little bit of that mom-to-mom connection, fun, and conversation amidst all the chaos. Join us as we take a break from doing all the things and explore the wide spectrum of this crazy motherhood role. We'll interview fun guests, talk about cool grown-up topics, laugh, share, and grow together. So go ahead, reheat that coffee and put your feet up. Here we go. Good morning, Cold Coffee Club. Ashley here, and I have our guest contributor, Monica, is back to join us. Hey, Monica. Hello. Hi, Ashley. Thank you so much for having me yeah. back. Thanks mm-hmm. so much for coming back. I uh, it was it was so much fun recording with you last time. So I'm like, yes, I get to work with Monica again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's dive right in. Do you have any tea to share with us this week? I do. Well, first of all, let me go into the development of how I think of my tea. Okay, though. Okay, this is we're going to talk about this. Okay, I've had a long time to think about this, and Ashley, I could not think of anything. And I think maybe I'm sure you can relate to this. I'm sure every mom out there can relate to this that didn't relate to like my kids, yeah, or like, or like my, or even like my husband or something like that. And I'm like, this is sad. I'm sitting there thinking and thinking like, oh, Maddox won his baseball game. Like that has nothing to do with me. And I, you know, in the end, I mean, work, everything's great, you know? So in the end, I came up with my banana desserts. (laughs) (laughs) I accidentally bought like a ton of bananas online. I did the online shopping. I picked, I only wanted four bananas. They gave me four bunches of bananas. So I had like 16 bananas. So... (laughs) So I ended up just making a bunch of desserts I never made before, and they all came out really delicious. Just like maybe I'll share the recipes on the Houston Moms website. Um, a banana pudding cake, which was the bomb. That was the best one. Um, uh, banana bread, but it was a banana Nutella bread. You know, I got to elevate it. Yeah, that was delicious. Um, and then I made banana chocolate chip cookies. Those were good, but they were not as good as the other two things. So that was that was my win. I I, I take that. That was a legit win. I, I made them, you know, off of recipes, of course. I didn't, you know, blindly make it. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's, That's my tea. Awesome. Come on. I lo- <laughs> what do you got? All, I have to comment <laughs> on the fact that every time you online grocery shop, it's like a hit or miss. Like. I once ordered yeah. one container of kiwi. They didn't have the containers anymore, so they gave me one kiwi. And I was like, wait, no, I need more than these. And the girl was like, but you ordered one. And I was like, I ordered one container. Y'all didn't have them anymore. That doesn't mean I just want one. Yeah. Like, that's, that doesn't help me. It is hit or miss. You either order yeah. four bananas or four bunches of bananas. I don't know the rules. I don't understand it. I don't know what they want from me. I'm like, listen, I'm confused too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But I love that your bananas went to great use. That is so yes. exciting. I, it's funny now that you mention it. Like I just called my grandma yesterday because uh, uh, the guy I'm dating invited me to Thanksgiving. And I was like, hmm, what do I want to make? And my grandma makes such amazing banana pudding. I just called mm. her yesterday. I was like, tell me how to make it. And she's like, girl, it's just the recipe on the box <laughs> of vanilla wafers. Like it's not a whole thing. And I thought she had some special recipe. Yeah. I thought it was just hers. Nope, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> uh, so my, I do have a fail this week, um, and I love that you don't have a fail. That's awesome. You were just crushing it, making desserts. I love it. <laughs> I'm sure I do. I think I just blocked it all out. Right. right. Well, uh, my fail this week is that my next door neighbors are doing some work in their backyard, and it has been so insanely noisy to the point where like something big is going on over there, and there will be like noise outside but it rattles the walls in my house <laughs> and I'm oh like my looking around like what is that sound like I'll be home alone and all of a sudden it's like boom. And, like I don't know <laughs> where I thought it was in the house I was like there's something in my attic or something and then I realized like oh it's them okay <laughs> <But> it's, <laughs> it's so loud and like I'll answer work phone calls and I'm like pausing and they're like ma'am are you still there and I'm like yeah, sorry, I heard a noise. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been so noisy. Yeah, and you have to live with that. I would, I would, that was definitely frustrating. Yeah. Yes. 
I've been in your to home. Neighbors that are not very friendly, so it's not like I can go ask mm. them like, "Hey, uh, like, what's up?" Or and they keep parking in front of my house, and it's hard to get in my driveway. I'm trying Ooh. to be nice, but I'm also oh, like, can you make it stop? <laughs> yeah, especially if you have a hard time getting into your driveway. Yes. It's so yeah. annoying. So annoying. But my win is that my volleyball team is in the playoffs. Uh, we just won our game Ooh. last week. And like, when I tell you I was in my element this past week, like there was a moment where I was playing and I was like, that that move could have been like on a poster. Like someone should have taken a picture of me doing that. Like, <laughs> Damn, that was anyone was videoing? I know. I was like, anyone yeah. see that? Anyone? You recording that? No? <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. okay. <laughs> but I was well, having the college recruiters out there. <laughs> Come on, that was a good one. <laughs> I was having some moments this week. I was good. So good for you. Proud. So proud. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, that is definitely a strong win. Yeah. Yes, I love it. I love it. All right. Well, my cream and sugar this week is the Spring Creek Greenway. Um, so there's like a, a, a nature area near my house uh, here in Spring. They have a nature center where you can go in and see, you know, different kinds of animals they have there. I think they have like a couple owls. They have some, uh, I think they have like a bearded dragon. Uh, they have like a lot of woodland kind of creatures there. And mm -hmm. then um, they have like displays of insects and things like that. And so I didn't know about it. And my boys came home telling me that they had gone with their dad. And I'm like, well, we have to go check this out. And yeah. uh, so we did that. We just kind of walked around for a little bit and learned about animals. And then they were doing a foraging class where you can just jump in and they show you plants that they have there that like if push comes to shove and you need something to eat here's some plants you, you can just go eat over that there. are not dangerous <laughs> here are some berries you can eat here are things to look for if you're not sure if it's edible like oh these certain types of leaves uh stay away from this or things like that and i oh my god it was really really interesting and my kids are like we can like we don't even need to go to the store anymore i'm like simmer down we do need to go to the store. we're not eating leaves all day this is not happening but they in, they tasted some things they were just pulling things off branches and like oh this is good okay it was so much fun i i went down the rabbit hole i bought a foraging book i was like yeah okay. oh yeah no there you more. go yeah I got so into it it was so much fun and my kids really really enjoyed it um and we are going back there this week um as we're recording i am quickly trying to get pictures done for our christmas cards and so when we were walking through there i was like this is all so beautiful like the trees are just lovely and full and lush and there's flowers and all kinds of interesting looking plants and i'm like yep we're coming back dressed and we're gonna get some pictures for these christmas <laughs> cards i refuse to hire a photographer so i'm like cool let's get out the tripod we're doing this yeah oh so yeah we are, we are going to be using that for the backdrop of our christmas photos <laughs> that is awesome I, I think the greatest thing about that is that it was pretty much sounds like like right in your backyard and you just kind of stumbled upon it yes. you know i think so many times i'm always looking online I'm like okay well, what am i gonna do with my kids i need to enrich right. their lives and you know, it's very purposeful, but when you stumble upon that and you got the Christmas card thing going, that's awesome. Yes, it is going Thank to be you for our, sharing our that. Yeah. Go to spot, just like hang out. And they have a cute playground, which, you know, I'm always looking for playgrounds that will keep yeah. the kids busy. They're not, they're too young to be like big kids, but they're too old to be little kids. And so it's yeah. hard to find that sweet spot in a playground where my oldest is not like, this is a baby playground. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so we did find their cool playground so i i love it check out um spring creek greenway and their nature center there so much fun this episode of the cold coffee club is brought to you by next level urgent care as we enter into the long-awaited fall season sports injuries flu bouts sinusitis and respiratory illnesses are circling the houston community Next Level Urgent Care has you covered for these instances and more. With convenient locations throughout the Houston community and surrounding areas, they are open seven days a week from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. to serve you. Now, let's get back to the show. All right, this episode, we are going to talk about raising thankful children. Now, it is it's difficult in this day and age. A lot of kids are all about stuff. I mean, it's 
it's normal, it's natural, and I get it, but there's so much stuff. And a lot of our kids, when we look around at their like bedrooms or their playrooms, it's like, you have all the things. And are you really grateful for any of them? Like, do you care that, you know, this cost grandma so much time and energy and money to get this for Mm -hmm. you? Do you even care? Um, And so in, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, we are going to talk about being thankful and how how we can help our children also be thankful and grateful and realize how good they've actually got it. Um, yeah, yeah. So one thing that I do in my house is we do a thankfulness tree and I will um, I will plug in a photo of it so you all can see how it's grown <laughs> since it started. Um, it was just um, paper and I made it, I kind of like looked at a picture on the internet and was like, how do I make a tree? I'm not, I'm not the crafty mom. I do my best, mm-hmm. but I'm not crafty <laughs> at all. So I was just cutting it out brown paper and making things look like limbs and tree trunk and all that. And then I found a template for leaves and I cut them out. And so every day we spend a little bit of time before my kids get screen time in the afternoon, just writing something that we're thankful for and we're sticking it on the tree and it really is helping them realize how good their lives are, how, how lucky they are, um, how not everyone has the things that they have, which includes stuff, but also like a great family, you know, the pets they have, the home they have, all those things. And so I've seen the cutest little leaves go up on that tree and it's like (laughs) i'm thankful for our dogs i'm thankful for getting to play baseball my youngest doesn't fully understand what he's thankful for so he's really like today's a good day and i'm like you know what yes be thankful for that (laughs) or he wrote one the other day that said i'm so proud of you (laughs) like Okay, that's basically, yeah, yeah, you think of a proud mom. It's so oh, sweet. <laughs> I, I hope you bathed in that enjoyment for a I long, really yeah, did. yeah, I, I, I would, really I would did. definitely sit in that one for a long time. That's awesome. It was so sweet. <laughs> yeah. So that has been <laughs> one thing that we, we work on consistently, especially this time of year, but I think I'm going to start making it a thing all year round because yeah, <laughs> my kids need a little reality check from time to time so oh yeah yeah I mean I mean this is something that I've thought about and I'm still working towards but I've always worked towards it you know because my kids are older now with the youngest being 11 and the oldest is what now like 19 so you know and like I didn't come from much well I mean not I don't want to say that but like you know I was the youngest of six so you know we I with my husband you know we had our struggles so we're like how do we teach our kids to be grateful for what they have because really we're like I, we would be you know so amazed to have what we have here all the TVs and everything like that so a lot of different things one of the things which which is hard but I'm still pushing it is volunteering um and I know here in KDIC they have that program read Eat, run um where you know in for fourth and fifth graders you um and it's a year round thing so you run a, a marathon you run 20 miles over a year you read 26 books and you do like something like 26 hours of deeds something like that it's it's voluntary you know the kids don't have to do it but that introduced my kids to volunteering it made them it made me make them do volunteer work because it's work for the parent you know on top of everything else you got to do you have to try to do this but i found that when they've actually volunteered and done something that they'll come back and they're like oh my gosh i feel so good about myself i feel so good and and just that is it's a great as a gratitude is an act of gratitude and they, their faces kind of light up and you could tell that they're grateful for the opportunity to help other people and they're grateful for what they have you know they're making you know they do things like they'll make blankets for uh, elderly people at senior homes. And we did one, me and my son did one, well, he, he did it and we took it and they actually let him give it to one of the um, elders that lived there. And she was so grateful and they took a picture and he was like, wow, I didn't know that, you know, this would like have such an impact on someone. Um, so I think things like that, as well as, you know, little acts of kindness, um, you know, seeing like a wallet on the ground my daughter picked it up and we hunted down. We went to this guy's house and returned it 
again, it's taking my time. I mean, it took like an hour, you know, and you know, as a mom, you're busy doing all kinds of stuff, but right. to do that. And then after she, we, we returned, she's like, oh my gosh, I feel so good. I'm so grateful, you know, for everything we have. I'm grateful that I was able to do this for somebody. So it's, it's a little different type of gratefulness, not grateful for the stuff, but maybe grateful for what you can do for others. Mm -hmm. Um, which is, I think, you know, kind of all tied in together, but yeah. so yeah, volunteering is, you know, difficult as it is, I think to try to weave that through their lives, yeah. you know, as much as possible. That was, that's a good, that, that helped. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, that, that's amazing. That's, uh, and it seems like your kiddos are getting the right message that they need to be getting from experiencing, you know, volunteering and just doing the right thing, being, you know, a kind person. Um, you know, my, my youngest, so my kids don't understand the idea of homelessness. Now, mm. they are very much like, like, especially my oldest. One time he saw a house and he's like, mom, that house is so cool. It's for sale. We should move there. And um, I like just looked it up just for fun. And it was like a, a, a million and a half dollar house. And I was like, wow. oh, buddy, <laughs> that's not yeah. going to happen for us. And he was like, he's like, it costs money to have a place to live. And I'm like, oh, yeah. wow. And he yeah. Was, and he's like, well, that doesn't make sense. You're born. You need somewhere to live. Like, what? And I'm like, oh, oh okay. So man. Let's talk yeah. about this. I was like, there's a whole lot that goes into having a, a safe home to live in. It doesn't just come naturally just because you're born. And so we've had those conversations. And then recently we were um, downtown and my youngest noticed so many um, homeless people in tents. And he was like, mommy, we should. He's like, why are they out there? Are they camping? And I was like, no, they don't have a home. And he said, so most likely it's it's hard for them to get food too and i said yeah well, probably and he said why don't we just have all of them over for dinner and i was like mm -hmm. well, <laughs> yeah i love where your head is but <laughs> it's like i don't know if we can do that but he asked what can we do to help and um you know i don't typically have you know cash on hand you know if you see someone yeah. uh, you know panhandling or whatever i don't typically do that um, but one thing I love doing is making little care packages so that when I see someone who's, you know, at a stoplight waiting, you know, hoping someone will give them some money, give them this instead. And so my kids and I are working on this. We're going to be we've been collecting items so far. Um, some of my friends and, um, you know, people on social media have donated some money. I told them, you know, what we're working on and they've donated money that I can buy things like, um, you know, gallon Ziploc bags and bottles of water and a snack. And, um, you know, I, I had heard that one of the things most people who don't have a home need, clean mm -hmm. socks, clean dry yes, socks. Yeah. And I did not know that mm -hmm. was a thing. So people have been pitching in to buy packages of socks. Um, and those, uh, they're like these aluminum blanket things. Um, they're supposed to help, you know, keep you warm uh, when the temperatures drop. And so we've been collecting all the things to go in these care packages. And my boys have pitched in some of their allowances to go toward um, buying any other supplies we need. And then right before Thanksgiving, we're just going to have like a, a packing party of packing all these bags. Yeah, and that's excellent. Ready. And they are so excited. And I said, you know, mm -hmm. one thing we could do is write a little like handwritten note to go in each bag. And my youngest with his beautiful <laughs> brain is like, we could write things like for thinking of you or um, have a great day. And I'm like, yes, let's <laughs> yes. do it. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. they are all in. They are so ready. Oh, that's a I great idea. Them. Yes, I'm yeah. so excited. And, you know, we had done it once before. Um, I didn't have them like pack the bags with me, but I think just involving them will, it'll make it yeah. mean so much more to them. Um, but in the past I'd had them hand them over. I'd roll down their window and hand, have them hand it to the person that they see. And they got so much joy of knowing that like yeah. I'm helping, you know, and everyone was so appreciative. And so then that, you know, made everyone just feel really good. So I'm really looking forward to doing it again, especially now that they're older and it's probably going to stand out even more. Uh, yeah. Like, hey, mm -hmm. you're you're doing something kind for somebody else, and this is a big deal. You know, I'm sure there are lots of people who 
don't have kind things happen to them often. Mm -hmm, So that one little moment of kindness could mean the world to them. And I want my boys to understand, hey, they're in a situation that you're not in and how blessed and lucky you are to not be in this situation, but also realizing that you can do something to help make their day a Mm -hmm. little bit better. So, exactly. Really and it's it's really it. like a easy, small act. I mean, I don't want to say easy. Nothing's really easy, but like it, it's simple, actually, what you're doing. You know, it's not like this huge, you know, over the top event or anything like that. And right. I, I think that's great. And they could see that that small act will have such a big impact. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one thing I was thinking, too, is, you know, besides the you know, kind of uh, different types of things that we're doing with volunteering and, and other things on the daily like around the house, you know, on the daily, you guys just doing your normal, regular thing. Um, the one, definitely chores. I mean, that's a given, right? Kids do chores, but I found that when, when, but the thing is, it, it's up to me to enforce the chores, right? Because they don't do them on their own. So really it's from me, right? So I find them doing chores. And um, another simple thing is saying no, <laughs> for me to say no um because they're asking there's always asking for all kinds of things even even you know hey can you go upstairs and get me my my hydro flask right like are you serious like there's always asking and i don't know for me and i I think even a lot of moms it's hard to kind of constantly be on and be like no think about things talk about things tell them why you're saying no you know no you can't get the lululemon shorts no you know we can't buy the new uh modern warfare game like because it, it's a constant bombardment every day mm-hmm. so i feel like even though we can afford it mm-hmm. um saying no frequently <laughs> um and but then explaining why you know not just saying oh no you know which is what you know my parents did right no because i said so because you know you don't pay rent in this house but sometimes you know i think you know, when I'm telling them to clean their room or things like that, I said, you know, you, you're not, you're not putting in on this. This, this is, I'm putting in on this and that's put, you know, so you got to do what we're, you know, saying in this house. And I, I think that, you know, gratitude is kind of like a humbling thing. It's kind of like grounding. So I, I think it's all kind of tied together. So I think things like that can help teach them to be grateful to, you know, kind of bring him back down to earth in a way. And, um, the uh, last thing was uh, for, of course, as role models and as their parents to to vocalize it myself and to show and display my gratitude and to practice my gratitude um, and to, you know, and even like on bad days when I'm not practicing gratitude, when I'm like in the car and I'm white knuckling it on the, you know, steering wheel because I'm mad about this guy. We're late to this. Uh, you know, I couldn't find my good shoes and things like that, right? And so that is like so opposite, right, of practicing gratitude. And, um, you know, I can catch myself in that mood. You know, and then, and then I'll vocal, I'll be like, oh, man, you know, I let all the stuff get to me. And, you know, we, we got to the place on time and here we're laughing and having a good time. And, you know, and so I'll, I'll actually explain, you know, yeah, man, you know, I was in such a bad mood and, you know, now I'm here and we're thankful. I'm just thankful we got here safe and, and expressing my thankfulness and my gratefulness, big or small. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm always grateful when we get in the car and we get to our destination safely. So um, vocalizing it when I feel it good or bad, I think is a good way also to teach gratitude as much as possible. And then, I mean, staying with it, you know, they're not going to get it the first time. They're not going to get it the second time. <laughs> you just got to keep on throwing stuff against the wall and yeah. see what sticks. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I've also been trying this new thing where I assign my kids the duty of being mom for so far we've only done it up to like 15 minutes but i'm like okay from here on out for 15 minutes oliver is mom so any (laughs) questions you have anything you need anything you need help with oliver's mom for now and they're starting to realize like how much i do (laughs) that is an excellent tool yeah (laughs) and i've heard them be like maverick stop asking me (laughs) and i'm like oh oh you're tired of it Oh, okay, he's, he's bothering you. He needs something else from you. 
oh, okay. <laughs> and I just want them to like realize like, hey, there's so much that mom does. There's so much on mom's plate. I've had them, you know, hey, your 15 minutes starts like as dinner time's about to start. So it's like, you're serving up plates. You're making sure like, mom, I wanted juice. I'm not mom right now. Go talk to the mom mm -hmm. for 15 yeah. minutes. Go talk to them. It's not my job right now. And they're starting to recognize like, oh man, <laughs> like that's, I don't want to do this. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> you yeah. know, I do it for all three of you all the time. And like, maybe you should just appreciate how much effort goes into being mom. Right. Just right. an idea. <laughs> yeah, that is a great idea. That is a good tool. It's been really, fun. Yeah. It's been fun. <laughs> and then another thing is I've been encouraging my kids, if it's not, you know, your birthday or a holiday, there's really no reason for you to expect me to give you stuff. So if there's something you really want, you get an allowance when you do your job, which sometimes doesn't happen, but mm -hmm. you get an allowance when you do your job. If there's something you want, you have your own money make it happen yeah and they seem to appreciate it so much more and i know that you know lots of people already know this but it is just it's been a game changer how they treat their things when they spend money on it um what it means to them when they spend money on it um you know my middle child wanted a hatchimal it is the most senseless yeah. it's like a furby <laughs> but in an egg yeah. And it is yeah. so silly, and we wanted it so badly. This thing cost almost a hundred dollars. I knew oh I God. wasn't buying it. I knew for a fact I'm not buying that. But he <laughs> saved up his money, and I knew it was gonna be a mistake. Like I knew it was not going to be worth a hundred dollars. But the learning experience he got from A, saving his own money and making it happen. B, he went to the store and got it. Yeah. And then C now he's like he plays with it every like he's had this thing a month and he plays with it maybe once a week and he came to me one day he goes i probably should have held off <laughs> once on a week <laughs> yeah like, lessons there you learned go. here <laughs> lesson learned yes, big time but he's so grateful for it he's glad that he mm -hmm. got to do all that but i'm like i love all the lessons that are coming together and his dad oh, yeah. is very much like this is silly. Why is he spending a hundred dollars on this? And I'm like, I understand. And it doesn't make sense to either of us, but he's going to learn something from this. He's going to realize oh, yeah. I could have gotten so many different things. I could have yeah. gone and done something, but I, I chose to spend my money on this. And now he learned a lesson that that's like irreplaceable. He learned it. Exactly. On his own. Oh he yeah. Said, yes. We said, do your thing, man. He learned it on his own, and I love that. <laughs> oh yeah, that is that is awesome. Yeah, that's a, a hundred dollars well spent. Exactly. <laughs> you know, on the lesson. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, and it's not our money. Like he's like, well, we gave it to him. I'm like, no, I know that, but he did a job. Yeah, but he it's his, his money. Job. Yeah. It's his now. We're out of it. Like mm -hmm. you know, do your thing, and you learned a lesson. So I love it. And then the last oh, yeah. thing I will share is every day I write in my gratitude journal. I don't know if you oh, can yeah. see it, but, um, and I, sh I often share what I have written with my kids, not always, cause sometimes it's really personal, but, um, so every day it breaks it into like, what am I grateful for today? And you write three things there. What would make today great? And you write three things there. Then you write yourself a positive affirmation and then um, at night you go back and you reflect on the good things that happened that day and what you learned that day. And it is really, it's hard. It's hard in general to remain grateful. It is so hard is. to remind yourself like, yep. it's, it, it's a blessing that I woke up this morning. Yeah, it's hard. absolutely. It's so hard because mm -hmm. a lot of days, like if you woke up like I did this morning, I was like, I hate everything. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to yeah. be here. <laughs> I don't like it. So many times. Uh, I don't morning. want to do anything. Yeah. Like, yeah. but because I force myself to write in this every morning, I pause the griping and I'm like, yeah, but <clears throat> my kids are happy, healthy, safe. I'm happy, healthy, safe. Yeah. It's a good life. I woke up today. Not everyone woke up this morning. And I've been trying to kind of encourage my kids to understand that. And I'm like, hey, today I wrote about like, I'm happy you guys are here. I'm so thankful to yeah. be your mom, things like that. And I'm like, just imagine like some people expected to wake up this morning and they didn't. And you and I are here. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. awesome. 
And so just even just making it a habit to write in this journal and then share some of it with my kids or even them seeing, like when they ask me, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm writing yeah. about the things that I'm grateful yeah. for today. That mm -hmm. is like kind of instilling in them like, all right, I mean, I didn't get to play Fortnite for four hours, okay. but I did get to play for one hour. And then, you know, my mom's here, she made dinner. It's a good day. Like just finding those little things where it's like, yeah, not everyone has this and yeah absolutely and good. I, yeah and I, I like that and that's the second time I heard about um, a gratitude journal mm -hmm. and I mean I, I'm a big fan of journaling I've journaled all the time I've tried to get my kids to journal for years yeah. right <laughs> and I'm like oh it's gonna impact your life so much and they're like yeah whatever <laughs> finally finally she's 15 and this is in school. She has a psychology class. I'm so glad she took it because she's learning a lot of these basic things that I personally feel like a lot of kids should learn early on, whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, she's like, oh, you know what? I love mom. I'm like, what? She's like, I'm writing in a gratitude journal every every day in class. Our oh. teacher makes it that I really like it. And I'm writing these little things that I'm grateful for. And I'm like, yes. I'm like, you know, I don't care if it didn't come from me or whatever. It didn't happen, you know, when she was 10 or 11. It's happening now. Exactly. And um, yeah, I was really happy that and you know and I'm happy that she's getting it. so it's kind of like you know it's hard it is hard to teach these kids gratitude but it's, it's a matter of like still sticking with it and if it doesn't come now maybe it'll come later or if they see you you know kind of talking about it or always you know saying yeah I'm writing in my gratitude journal I'm grateful for this I think it's, it's just that sending that consistent point all the time um, but yeah, the gratitude journal I, I love that and I think my other son he started to do it I gave him a journal when he was like maybe seven. He started finally writing little things, not every day, you know, but it comes, it, it definitely comes. So yeah, I, I think that's a, that's a great tool too, the gratitude yeah. journal. Yeah. It's all about kind of being consistent. And, you know, even if you're not making this like specific effort, like right now we're going to learn about gratitude, but instead just like making it the day to day kind of just like, Hey guys, I'm really thankful for this today. Cool. And like, then that starts to, get the wheels turning and you know encouraging them to think in that same kind of positive way like oh yeah life is good and you know before we started recording uh monica and i were talking about um you know these kids need to be thankful i'm not my mom or like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like, exactly. kind of nudging that i'm like you should be thankful i'm you know trying to like dip my toe more so into like gentle parenting versus like what I got or what my mom got. I'm like, y'all should be thankful for that. Put that on the thankfulness tree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there, there are moments where they'll say something or do something. And I'm like, boy, if I were my mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, you have no idea. And you know, I, I, I think it's fun. And when the moment presents itself, right, you guys are talking around dinner table, whatever you could sneak in a little like childhood memory. You know, well, when I was getting, and, and, you know, not in like that, like grandpa lecturing way, but in like a, a different kind, right? When that moment's like, like, oh, you know, well, we had one phone in the house and it was tied to a cord. You know what I mean? And we had one TV. We had to watch what my dad watched and we had 13 channels. You know what I mean? It's like, you had to like say things like that. And yeah. just, you know, in the, in a sneaky kind of way, I might also get them to too. but yeah you're right and so it's in some ways like oh well you know I wouldn't be sitting at this dinner table right now if, if I said to my mom what you just said to me you know something like that yeah, absolutely and that's such a nice way we want to say you know right. <laughs> tell you something. Yeah. I yes. will slap you know you should be grateful I'm not mm -hmm. your grandma you should be grateful that like you have the ability that's another thing too is I try to ex or I try to in some way, shape, or form, explain to my kids that, you know, you guys are being raised in a household where, like, I value your opinion. I respect your feelings. Like, that's something worth being grateful for. I don't mind if you ask me, well, why? Why do I have yeah. to do that? I'm like, all right, I will explain it to you yeah. one time, and then I don't want to hear yeah. anything after that. But mm -hmm. yes, if you have a valid why, I am more than happy to explain to you that is something worth being thankful for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it, it, it is. It's always it's always a battle. It's always yes. a battle. And that's why it's Friday and we're exhausted. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll.
roll into our Houston Moms House Blend. Um, so this post is has been written by a guest blogger uh, for Houston Moms. Um, and so for y'all who don't know, my birthday is in December and I love, I enjoy celebrating my birthday, just having a day where I can kind of reflect on myself and the past year and all that. But I, and I do really like to celebrate me <laughs> when the opportunity arises. <laughs> um, so this post is called 35 birthday freebies and discounts all around. Oh, I saw house. that. Yes. yes. Yeah. I love it. And I've been like perusing this list. Like, what can I go get? And treat yeah. Myself? Like, I uh-huh. love this. And you know, everything's expensive <laughs> these days yeah, everything is, it so is expensive so a freebie or a discount is always welcome to me um so i feel like i'm gonna start celebrating my birthday probably december 1st and uh just work my way down this list <laughs> yeah well there, there's 35 you could you know well i mean i guess you could they could, will they only honor it on your birthday right you can't be like this well it's my birthday month <laughs> right right yeah i know it's weird it's that that uh i took my boys to build a bear on like july 31st and two of my younger kiddos their birthdays are in august and they do like a birthday bear where if you go get it you only pay like the price that you're you're about to turn on your birthday it just has to be in your birthday month and i was like hey look like we're here today august starts tomorrow can i yeah. like get them the bear and they told me no <laughs> oh my god what? Gangster, that's crazy. <laughs> that's so annoying. I was like, I'm never at the mall. I'm never at the mall. So yeah. can we just do it today? Like I lugged all three of my kids here. Can we just do yes. it now? And they're like, No, you have to wait till your birthday month. I was like, Maverick, grieve <sighs> your birthday's today. <laughs> I didn't actually do that, but I thought about it for a second. I was like, This is silly. yeah. Hmm, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully there are no like hiccups going down this list and they're not like ma'am it's not your actual birthday i don't know well we're gonna try it and see what happens <laughs> yeah try and see what happens i mean you know i think there'll be a lot of places that are more forgiving yeah. than you than you can imagine yeah yeah, yeah. fingers crossed <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, well, let's close out with a see you later caffeinator. And I just have an interesting fact um, from the Mayo Clinic um, regarding gratitude. So it says expressing gratitude is associated with a host of mental and physical benefits. Studies have shown that feeling grateful can help improve sleep, mood and immunity. Gratitude can decrease depression, anxiety, difficulties with chronic pain and risk of disease. If Oh, it says if a pill could do all this, everyone would be taking it. And that is 100% correct. Um, So I think, you know, it's just it's so important to remember that having gratitude and being thankful for, you know, any circumstances you're in, even when they're tough and rough, it's it's, you know, it's a great life. And just having a little bit of, of gratitude for it all can do some a world of wonders for you. So um, you can yeah, absolutely, and then every day, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. and I mean, and start them young. Yes, <laughs> that's what absolutely. we're talking about, right? Start them young as much as possible, and that's why it is practicing, right? You're always practicing it because it is really difficult, but yeah, so start them young and get them grateful for, uh, for what they have, and keep on pushing, keep yeah. be consistent with that message, yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Monica. It's always fun to have you on the Cold Coffee Club. And thank, thank you, you Ashley, for having me. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for <laughs> listening. And we will see y'all next week. You've been listening to the Cold Coffee Club, brought to you by Houston Moms. We wish you a fabulous week with your families and look forward to sharing many more cups of cold coffee with you.